Hi friends, in today's video, I'm gonna make a real-time clock-based control relay. With this device, we can turn on and off our devices at a specific time in a day. So without further ado, let's start this video. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB, which is one of the largest PCB manufacturing company of China. First, I have created schematic diagram of the project, then I created PCB layout, and then I generated Gerber files and upload them to JLC PCB website. Then I selected all required parameters such as dimension, quantity, color, and a few more options. Then I click on save to cart. This will send our project into shopping cart. Then I click on check out securely and then I add my shipping address and select my desired shipping and payment method. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I upload a new video. These are my other channels, do subscribe them as well. And you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Component list, circuit diagram, everything is in the description below. Sometime we want to turn on our devices for a specific time. For example, if we want to turn on a light at 6 pm and turn it off at 8 pm, so we have to monitor the time. And we also cannot do this task when we are not available at the specific time. To solve this problem, I have designed an RTC based control relay. With this circuit, we can program a relay to turn on and off at a specific time in a day. Now let's see how I made this circuit. So these are all the components we're gonna need for this project. First connect Arduino, after that connect a 2 pin terminal block and connect its 1 pin to 5 volt pin of Arduino and its other pin to ground. After that connect RTC module and connect its VCC pin to 5 volt pin of Arduino, its ground pin to ground and its SDA pin to A4 pin of Arduino and its SCL pin to A5 pin of Arduino. After that connect a 16 by 2 LCD and connect its pin number 1, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 16 to ground and its pin number 2 and 15 to 5 full pin of Arduino and its pin number 4 to pin D6 of Arduino its pin number 6 to pin D7 of Arduino its pin number 11 to pin D8 of Arduino its pin number 12 to pin D9 of Arduino its pin number 13 to pin D10 of Arduino its pin number 14 to pin D11 of Arduino. After that, connect a 10K trim port and connect its one side pin to 5 fold, its center pin to pin number 3 of LCD and its other side pin to ground. After that, connect a push button and connect its one pin to pin D2 of Arduino and its other pin to ground. After that, connect another push button and connect its one pin to pin D3 of Arduino and its other pin to ground. After that, connect another push button and connect its one pin to pin D4 of Arduino and its other pin to ground. After that, connect a BC547 transistor and connect its pin number 3 to ground. After that, connect 1K resistor and connect its one pin to pin D5 of Arduino and its other pin to pin number 2 of the transistor. After that, connect a 5 volt relay and connect its one coil pin to 5 volt pin of Arduino and its other coil pin to pin number 1 of the transistor. After that, connect a 1N4148 diode and connect its anode to pin number 1 of the transistor and its cathode to 5 volt pin of Arduino. After that, connect a 2 pin terminal block and connect its 1 pin to normally open pin of the relay and its other pin to common pin of the relay. So we have completed all the connections. Now let's upload the code to Arduino and test the project.
So that's it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. For more videos like that, stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.